Building muscle can be quite challenging, especially as you progress beyond the beginner stage. When you first started working out, you probably experienced rapid gains, but as time went on, you may have noticed a frustrating slowdown in your muscle growth, even with consistent training and a proper diet. If you found yourself in this situation, don't despair because I'm here to shed some light on the 10 crucial reasons why your muscles aren't growing, despite your unwavering efforts. So let's dive in. The first reason why your muscles aren't growing is that you aren't doing enough sets. To ensure optimal muscle growth, it is crucial to provide sufficient stimulus to your muscles through adequate training set volume. Numerous research studies suggest that increasing the number of sets generally leads to greater muscle growth. More specifically, a recent systematic review and meta-analysis found that the optimum standard recommendation for muscle growth is between 12 to 20 sets per week per muscle group. In addition, there is evidence to suggest that training volume higher than 20 weekly sets seem to be more effective for triceps. This may translate to other small muscle groups such as biceps, calves, shoulders, and abs. If you notice the plateau in your progress, consider increasing the number of weekly sets for each muscle group to enhance your training volume. However, it's important to consider their training experience. If you are still relatively new to strength training, but not a beginner, you may aim for 12 to 15 weekly sets per muscle group. On the other hand, if you have several years of consistent lifting experience, you may consider increasing your sets to 15 to 20 weekly sets, and possibly even 20 sets or more for smaller muscle groups. Another reason why your muscles aren't growing is that you aren't changing up your rep ranges, and instead sticking to one rep range. Changing up your rep range is important for muscle growth due to several reasons. The first reason is muscle adaptation. When you consistently perform exercises within a specific rep range, your muscles become accustomed to that stimulus. Over time, they adapt to handle the demands of that rep range, which can lead to plateau in muscle growth. By changing your rep range, you introduce a new stimulus that challenges your muscles in a different way, promoting continuous muscle growth. The second reason why changing up your rep range is important is that different rep ranges target different types of muscle fibers. Lower rep ranges, such as 1-6 to six reps, primarily activate fast twitch muscle fibers, which possess a higher potential for strength and power. On the other hand, higher rep ranges, such as 8-12 to 12 reps or more, primarily engage slow twitch muscle fibers, which have greater endurance capacity. By incorporating a variety of rep ranges, you can stimulate and engage a broader spectrum of muscle fibers, resulting in overall muscle growth and development. The last reason is that varying rep ranges has specific effects on muscular strength and endurance. Lower rep ranges with heavier weights primarily focus on building strength, while higher rep ranges with the lighter weights emphasize muscular endurance. By incorporating different rep ranges in your training routine, you can develop both strength and endurance, promoting well-rounded muscle growth and improving overall fitness. To optimize muscle growth, I recommend incorporating a variety of rep ranges into your training routine. This can include using a low rep range such as 3-7 to seven reps, moderate rep range such as 8-12 to 12 reps, and a high rep range such as 13-15 to 15 reps, switching between them every few weeks. By regularly changing your rep ranges, you ensure that your muscles are continually challenged and stimulated, helping to overcome plateau and facilitating continuous muscle growth. The third reason for your muscle growth stagnation is low training frequency for each muscle group. Consistent and frequent stimulation is essential for optimal muscle development. Numerous studies have shown that training a muscle group more than once a week can promote greater muscle growth, even if the total training volume remains the same, provided that sufficient volume is used. For example, let's say you currently perform 12 sets for your chest in a single workout. By splitting those sets into two workouts of six sets per week, you may experience enhanced muscle growth. Therefore, I recommend aiming for a minimum of two training training sessions for each muscle group per week to effectively target and stimulate muscle growth. If your training volume is more than 30 sets per week for a particular muscle group, I recommend splitting the sets into three workout sessions. However, if your weekly training volume is 10 sets or less, training frequency doesn't seem to affect muscle growth. The fourth reason why your muscles aren't growing is that you aren't following a well-structured workout plan. Without a properly designed plan, you may not be effectively targeting all muscle groups, potentially causing imbalances. Additionally, the absence of a plan can lead to a failure in implementing progressive overload, which is crucial for muscle growth. Progressive overload involves gradually increasing the demands on your muscles over time by adjusting variables such as exercise selection, weights, and repetitions in a systematic manner. Following a well-designed plan promotes consistency since you know exactly what needs to be done and when, ensuring your workouts are structured and effective. Moreover, having a plan allows you to track your progress, including strength gains and performance improvements, providing motivation and enabling 
enabling necessary adjustments along the way. It's worth noting that even top athletes and celebrities follow structured workout plans to optimize their fitness goals. If you're in need of a structured workout plan that includes warm-ups, cool-downs, and the ability to track your reps and weights, you can download the AF app. This free app offers comprehensive guidance and provides the tools necessary to enhance your fitness journey. You can find the download link in the description below. The fifth reason why your muscle growth is stalling is that you aren't tracking your progress. The process of gaining muscle and strength can be subtle, making it difficult to notice changes even if you are making progress. Without a way to measure your gains in size, weight, or strength, it becomes challenging to determine whether you are truly advancing. Tracking even the slightest improvements in your progress can serve as a motivating factor to push yourself further. To address this, I recommend implementing a weekly measurement routine to monitor your weight and waist circumference. If you observe weight gain while your waist remains the same or even decreases in size, it is a positive indication of muscle growth. Additionally, measuring specific body parts can provide an even more accurate assessment of your progress. Furthermore, it is crucial to track the weights used and the number of reps performed for each exercise in order to gauge your strength progress. If you use heavier weights or completed more reps compared to your previous workouts, it indicates improvement improved strength, which typically translates to muscle growth. On the other hand, if you find yourself stagnant at a specific weight and rep range for an extended period, it's an indication that you need to adjust your workout plan and incorporate other progressive overload principles to stimulate further muscle growth. By actively measuring and tracking these metrics, you will have tangible data to gauge your progress accurately. This knowledge not only helps you stay motivated, but also allows you to make informed decisions about your training routine to ensure continued growth and improvement. The sixth reason why your muscles aren't growing is due to a weak mind-to-muscle connection. The mind-to-muscle connection refers to the ability to consciously engage and focus on specific muscles during physical exercise or movement. It involves developing a heightened awareness of the targeted muscle group and intentionally activating and controlling its contractions. By establishing a strong mind-to-muscle connection, you improve the communication between your brain and the muscles you are working on. This connection allows for maximum muscle engagement and recruitment of muscle fibers during exercises, resulting in an a more effective and efficient workouts. Numerous studies have demonstrated that instructing individuals to adopt an internal focus of attention leads to greater activation of the intended muscles. For example, one study found that when subjects were verbally instructed to use only their chest during bench press, chest activation increased by 22%. When the subjects were verbally instructed to use only their triceps during bench press, triceps activation increased by 26%. To incorporate this concept into your workout routine, consciously think about contracting or squeezing and releasing the particular muscle you are targeting throughout the exercise. As you perform each repetition, focus on the sensations and the feedback originating from the working muscle. Personally, I find it beneficial to close my eyes and mentally immerse myself in the muscles I am training, heightening my connection with them. The seventh reason why your muscles aren't growing is that you are doing excessive cardio. While cardiovascular exercises is undeniably important for overall health, going overboard with cardio can impede muscle development. According to a 2012 meta-analysis, the inclusion of cardio in resistance training routine resulted in about 31% reduction in muscle growth and 18% reduction in strength performance. Engaging in excessive cardio can elevate calorie expenditure, making it difficult to maintain a calorie surplus, which is optimal for muscle growth. More Moreover, performing intense cardio before your workout can diminish your performance during weightlifting sessions. A 2015 study discovered that engaging in aerobic exercise prior to weightlifting resulted in a decrease in the number of completed reps. To maximize muscle growth, it is advisable to refrain from excessive amounts of intense cardio, especially if you're on a low calorie diet, and avoid performing cardio immediately before your weight training sessions. The eighth reason why your muscles aren't growing is that you aren't training through a full range of motion when performing exercise. Exercises. Range of motion refers to the extent to which a body part can be moved around a joint. Insufficient range of motion limits muscle activation and potential for growth. In support of this, a study conducted in 2013 demonstrated that performing squats with a full range of motion rather than a partial range of motion led to significantly greater quadriceps muscle growth. Performing exercises through their full range of motion is crucial for muscle growth due to two main reasons. Firstly, it enhances muscle activation and recruitment of muscle fibers. Secondly, utilizing a full range of motion during exercises contributes to muscle stretching and elongation. This stretching action creates mechanical tension on the muscle fibers, which is an important stimulus for muscle growth. In fact, a 2021 study found that doing just the bottom half of a preacher curl in which the biceps are in the most stretched position stimulated around three times as much muscle growth as doing the top half.
By incorporating exercises that challenge the muscles across their entire length, you can promote muscle growth. Therefore, I highly recommend performing all exercises through their full range of motion, even if it means reducing the weights used. Another factor that is impeding your muscle growth is inadequate protein intake. Protein plays a crucial role as a building block for muscles. During exercise, small tears occur in your muscle fibers. Protein aids in the repair of these tears and the construction of new muscle tissue. Insufficient protein intake can hinder this muscle repair and growth process. To ensure optimal muscle development, it is important to include an adequate amount of protein-rich foods in your diet. According to a 2018 scientific research paper, to maximize anabolism, one should consume protein at a target intake of a minimum of 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day and a maximum of 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. By prioritizing protein consumption, you provide your muscle with the essential nutrients they need to recover and grow effectively. The final reason for your muscle growth stagnation is the lack of motivation to train hard and go to the gym consistently. Luckily, there are effective ways to increase your motivation. Firstly, increasing your social support can make a significant difference in your motivation. A systematic review conducted in 2014 found that individuals who receive social support from parents, friends, and family are more likely to engage in higher levels of physical activity. Moreover, a recent study conducted in 2022 revealed that social support not only directly influences physical exercise behavior, but also also indirectly affects it through the mediating effect of self-efficacy. In simpler terms, when individuals receive social support, they develop a stronger belief in their own abilities to perform physical exercises and achieve desired outcomes in the future. Given these findings, it is recommended to seek out a gym buddy, such as a friend or significant other who shares your fitness goals. Alternatively, joining an online fitness community such as the one on the AF app can provide an invaluable platform for connecting with like-minded individuals, sharing workout ideas, and seeking advice and inspiration. Secondly, identify your underlying reasons and motivations for going to the gym. It could be improving your health, enhancing your physical appearance, relieving stress, increasing your energy levels, or even trying to attract a potential partner. Understanding your personal why can help feel your motivation on days when you feel less inspired. Finally, for certain individuals, particularly introverts, a crowded gym can dampen motivation and hinder the completion of a full workout due to limited equipment availability. If you find yourself in this situation, it might be beneficial to modify your gym schedule to less crowded times or explore the option of switching to a gym with fewer people overall. Personally, this is precisely why I decided to transition from a congested gym to Anytime Fitness, where I can peacefully work out and film my content. The added convenience is that the AF app provides real-time information about the number of members currently at the gym aiding me in determining the optimal times for my workouts and filming sessions. By implementing these strategies, you can enhance your motivation to train consistently and unleash your full muscle growth potential. And that concludes the video. I hope you found the content to be beneficial. If so, please subscribe to my channel. Additionally, if you're in search of a structured workout plan and want to connect with a community of like-minded fitness enthusiasts, I highly recommend downloading the AF app. As a coach on the platform, I provide exclusive video training tips. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my upcoming video.